this morning we're going to be talking about why are female driven sport always lacking in funding and joining us to share her perspective is sports marketer author uh, administrator at times carol beckford <laughs> good morning my friend thank you so much for joining us good morning and thanks as always for having me yeah um carol th this this is a never-ending debate huh when it comes to, to to lack of funding for women at the core of it what have you identified as the major issue all right in, in in the caribbean in particular there are a few things right they there are still some school of thought that men think that women should not be playing certain kind of sports so let us start there there's a tradition available um of, that's thought of that's you know things like football for example that you know women should be playing football cricket and so on so mm -hmm. and a lot of the decision makers are still men and so you find that but on the base of it, over the last 20 years, women's sports has just skyrocketed so much yeah. that TV rights are now being done to include women. Um, more salaries are being paid to women. And so it is growing and it is part of the traditional society that we have that we have become a part of mm -hmm. that really says that women are not supposed to be involved in certain things. Yeah. It's, 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 I guess, the chicken and the egg because some arguments say uh, pay the men more because they bring in more viewership and they will bring in more money. Um, and then some will say, yeah, but, they, but, but what is required, the women, it's, it's equal. So I know in recent times, and you got some stats for me, some changes have happened in terms of how women are compensated. Right. So like um, football, FIFA has tripled the women's fees, mm. right? But it is still almost um, one third of what? So the men will get 440 million in their World Cup, while the women will only get 110 million. Mm -hmm. um, where NCAA, for example, last week, only last week, just announced that the March Madness in basketball will now have to expand to include women. Because also Dela is that the generation of marketers is changing. Yeah. And so it is now the millennials generation X is not so much the baby boomers like myself mm -hmm. who are looking at just ratings as opposed to gender. They don't care. Once it's popular, they're going for it. And as a result of that, we will have to move with it with, with, with that kind of change. Mm -hmm. um, and tennis is probably the only sport that there is equal pay across the board. Right. And Vila Williams and her sister fought very hard. Mm -hmm. um, some of the jurisdictions have increased the um, fees for women. Australia, I think, just went for the equal pay for women in cricket. Um, the USA women's team has fought valiantly for equal pay for their women's football team mm -hmm. and of course you see things like the WNBA but let's go back to Jamaica though I, I, I think sport in general requires more support and as a result of that when you look at June let's look at from June 15 until the end of August we would have had significant positive outcome in the media for call it the better of two months mm -hmm. no we can't pay for that no advertising can pay for that we when the, when the girls drew with brazil for example i, I kind of stopped checking we were on the front pages of every major sport page there is in the globe that covers football right. and you're looking at 206 countries mm -hmm. so i'm thinking to myself um how then can we ensure that there is a balance or a shift in how sport in general is supported and then by extension women it's a thing that you know i talk about all the time you and i that i feel jamaica should lead the way in certain things and make the world say wow look at what jamaica did and i feel like as you raised it marketing is a is a big deal they, they feel well this is the athlete that's gonna bring me and i feel in jamaica our female athletes can do that so I feel like we are the country that should say to the rest of the world, well, look at what our women can do and, and, and give our women the big endorsements and give our women, I may not take it from the men, but, but, but do you feel that Jamaica, more than anyone else, is in a position to make that kind of change? 
Oh, absolutely. We have been doing that for such a long time. I mean, I was trying to get Hubert when I, when I was told about this interview to find out of the 88 Olympic medals, for example, how many uh, the women have. I know we had a, before you saying, in between you saying and Don Quarry, we had a little rough patch for the men and the women had dominated, but I'm right. not sure how equal that is. But certainly, um, Jamaica is the leader in CARICOM. Jamaica is a leader in some part of the Americas when it comes down to certain things, and it is our competitive advantage. I mean, I say these things so much now. I know I'm starting to sound like a scratch record, but I'm not going to stop because you know what? It is important. And, and women's sports beat Sky, Sky TV viewership in World Cup cricket, went over the top. Um, China, the China match, this had what? Over 5.9 million views. The World Cup has just been beating all of the television rights. And I'm saying we have to adjust. We have to use data to drive our information. And so it is important for us to continue. Mm -hmm. um, our women clearly will do well in Budapest, barring any unforeseen circumstances. So I'm anticipating. But for the next round, heading into the Summer Olympic Games next year in Paris, it's an opportune time. I've called for it, for Jamaica to sit and meet, and for CARICOM to get back the Sport Commission in action. This region has way too much talent mm -hmm. to be underperforming in terms of financial support for sport and for women's sport. And our women are leading tremendously. Yeah. I also feel that we need to have more women um, at the big table. I remember um, when I was an administrator, one of the things... Um, they came up with was percentages that you had to have a certain number of women um, at all levels of sport to, 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 uh, mm -hmm. to help with the decision making. Um, I think that has helped in some way, but I still feel like we need more women at the table. Would you agree? Yeah, we should. I mean, w more women are now going into politics. When you look at the, the 63, there are a lot more women, e the most women ever. And I think it's growing in sport. But you yeah. know what, Dela, the scrutiny is so tough sometimes that if you if you're back not broad, you really can't undertake. And, and listen, Girl, I know <laughs> the, the whole politics of it. I remember, I mean, we could go back to when I was volleyball president. Yeah. When I sat yeah. And the roles have to change. Women, women are at the table. <laughs> you know, we are at the table. We don't have to bring anything to the table. We're there. And it's not tokenism at all. You know, you ask the question. It isn't. We are formidable people. We're doing engineering. We're, we're doing male-dominated things. I mean, so I, I, I don't think it should be an issue. What we have to do, though, is that we have to prepare ourselves. Look at the data, look at how it gets converted into what uh, marketing dollars mean. Look at administration, get help, seek technical help. Look at bilaterals, look at countries where women have been, continue to do well and form those collaborations. People at the top collaborate, people at the bottom compete. I mean, I can't say that often enough. Mm -hmm. And so there, mm -hmm. there are tremendous opportunities. Join groups, volunteers, go to conferences, go to workshops. Talk and meet with people and get yourselves ready because women rock, essentially. I mean, I, I, it sounds cliche, but we do. We do. Look at this summer so far. Yeah. I mean, and we have done tremendously well. Yeah, absolutely. I, and I feel, as I said, Jamaica has done so well in, in sport across. the. I mean, we, <laughs> we're just brilliant. And our women are excellent. And we just need to keep supporting them. Thank you, ma'am for taking the time out to speak with us this morning. <laughs> okay, take care. Have a good one. All right, Carol Beckford there speaking with us. Coming up next, it's our Girl Talk segment. But first, the second edition of News in 5.